In this video, we're gonna continue topic of filters in Jira, topic that was started in one of our previous videos. We will cover a bit more advanced elements of filtering uh, functions, and we will also discuss feature called subscriptions, which very often is crucial for transparency and proper propagation of information within the company. This video is part of our effort to provide you best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can leave a comment below if you have any further question and remember that you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or implementations. Okay, so let's jump into the tool. You might remember that Jira filtering allowed you to look for the issues that meet a certain criteria. So if I wanted to find issues that were assigned to me, I could just select that in the assignee field I want to have myself, right? And all the issues that are assigned to me will be displayed. Now, this, this is already very powerful because you can have multiple or set the values on multiple, multiple fields. So you have, you can have really uh, narrowed down and, and very targeted, very precise set of issues, but this is very inflexible. What I mean by that is that I can create a filter from that, and we've also seen like uh, seen this, so I can save this search and share it with others, but they will always see in that case issues assigned to me, which, okay, that, that can be my point, but in most of the cases, we would like to see, for example, issues assigned to them, right? But we cannot create, or we could, but it would be very impractical to create multiple different filters with different user assigned each time and share it with different person. That would be way, way overkill. Fortunately, Jira gives us JQL functions. So we can select one of them over here. So if we select assignee, you can see that there is a current user option here. So what it will do is it will look for, uh, for all the issues in which assignee is a person that is currently logged in. So for me, it will be issues that are, uh, that are assigned to me. But if other person will, would look or would use this search, they would see issues assigned to them. We can switch over here to JQL and you will see how it looks. So assignee is in current user. We could also do something like that, make it a bit simpler or a bit easier to read. So assignee equals current user. So this makes the searching way, way more flexible because yeah, basically what, what I just discussed. So each user will have different uh, set of issues and we can use one filter for all the users that need to use it. What else is interesting here? Uh, we could look for issues that are due in specific period of time. So again, we'll switch back to basic. Uh, we'll look for issue, yeah, due date will be okay. And now you will see that Jira allows us to uh, put specific specific time constraints. So we could put hard dates. So if we want to have issues that will be due between beginning of this week and end of this week, we could just put it as a date over here, right? But again, this is not flexible. If we want to have moving time window, so if I open this filter or apply this filter next week, I would also like to see uh, issues that will be, that will have due date in the next week this won't work, we would have to change this filter each week, not practical. But we have some flexible options over here. So we could say that due date is due in next days, next five days, like that. We will update this and you will see that this is due in next five days. Tomorrow or in the week, it will show me the issues due in five days from the moment I'm looking at this. So basically, we can use these functions based on the dates and have very updated information on what are the issues that are most, 
that should be prioritized the most at the moment or, or that are most urgent because their due date is coming close. Again, we can switch to JQL and see uh, how it looks. This is pretty simple. So it is just due is smaller or equal to five days. The funny thing about the functions is that there can be different set of functions on each Jira instance because there is a set of functions that is standard in Jira, but each add-on may provide some additional functions, may expand JQL functions. So depending on what add-ons you have on your instance, uh, you may have different possibilities over here. But let's have a look at some basic ones that are available in here. Uh, by standard. So issue history, this will basically display me issues that I've been looking at in part uh, in, 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 in the past. Uh, linked issues used very often. Uh, we can use this function to find all the issues related with specific issues. So we can put here, for example, PPS 31. Not sure if anything is linked with that. But yeah, this is subtask, so I don't think it is. Maybe PJPD JDP 26. So basically, if any issue is linked via issue link with, with this particular function, with this particular issue, uh, yeah, it will be displayed as a uh, search result over here. So let's double check. Yeah, there is basically yeah, nothing. No, sorry, one issue. Uh, PPS26 is linked with, with JDP26. We could also add over here link type. Uh, so I won't do that, but you could, I won't find, uh, I won't apply this search, but we could do, for example, blocks. Then only issues that have this link type with, with JPD26 would be displayed. So this, function is used very often. What else do we have here? Uh, updated by, I think it is pretty straightforward. Watched issues, this is also pretty interesting. So uh, we had uh, the current user where we could uh, display all the tasks assigned to specific user. Watched issues allows us to display all the issues that specific user, the user that is currently looking at this filter is watching. So this is also pretty useful because very often just being assigned to is not sufficient. There are other stakeholders that are interesting in the issue. They can watch the issue and using this function, we can create a filter that will display all the issues that we are interested in. So you can see that functions are, yeah, they give us a lot of flexibility and are powerful. As I mentioned, there can be way more functions coming from different add-ons. So it's virtually impossible to discuss everything, but these things are described pretty well. At least the standard functions are described pretty well in Atlassian documentation. So uh, if you have a, if you have doubts, you can look at that. You can always contact us and ask us for help if you need to create a specific filter. So just let us know and we'll try to help. Okay, let's move into another feature that is very interesting. Uh, I have a filter over here applied. So basically assignee current user and due is, uh, yeah, and issue is due within next week. So this filter is flexible because depending on when we're looking at this and who is looking at this, it will display different set of issues. But still to see these issues, I need to come over here enter the filters, click due next week. And this is when I will, I will see these issues. For people who are using Jira on daily basis, this is okay. They will probably know where they should go, what they should click to get the information that is interesting to them. But not all the users are using Jira on a daily basis. There are situations where, where people are working in other tools that are using uh, email boxes for communication more often and they are visiting Jira very rarely but still there are issues that they are interested in and that we want to make sure they know what is happening. Uh, so what can we do if we do not want to force them to you know 
start using another tool which Jira is on a daily basis because maybe it's just not worth it. Fortunately, there is a feature called subscriptions. And if we click all over here in the of the details of my uh, of, of filter that I saved, you can see over here subscriptions. I can click new subscription. Now, what subscriptions do is they take the filter, they apply the filter for selected group of users, and result of this filter is sent to them on the email. So basically, if I will create, let's talk for a moment uh, uh, about subscription that I would create only for myself. I want to see this weekly. So I'm picking personal subscription, weekly, once per day will be okay, I can select the date. I will say that I want to receive this email on Monday and I can decide whether I should receive email even if a list will be empty. I will say yes because I will fear more more convenience that uh, more more uh, I, I will be sure that when I get the email it's empty. There's just no issues that are interesting to me and it's not that the email was just filtered out. If I subscribe to that each Monday at 9 p.m. I will receive this list of the issues. So I will receive basically information about the key, about the summary and some other columns. So you can already see that this can be useful. If I do not want to enter Jira, I can create I would call it even simple reports that will be sent into my, my, my mailbox. Uh, let's go to the details, manage subscription and see some other options. Uh, yeah, so we have this one. So we can, this one was a personal, so only set to me, but we can select specific Jira groups. So if we have a group representing our team or maybe other stakeholders, we could select this group and then for every user in this group filter will be applied separately and they will receive their own email so basically you could uh, you could imagine that we are displaying all the issues that person is watching uh, and because th this is what they are interested in and sending email to them so that they are know what is happening in the issues, whether the progress is okay or not, without need to entering the Jira and applying this filter. We can decide how often the mail is sent. In general, I would advise not to send too many of these emails because if they will receive, if the users will receive too many emails, they will just start ignoring it or, or just create separate for, folder in their mailbox and won't read that. But once per week is a good timing for the reports. We can decide how often it is sent, uh, yeah, what time, days. We discuss basically everything. So this feature allows us to keep updated people that are not very often uh, visiting Jira, or maybe that uh, are working daily on Jira, but yeah, it's just that they are too busy to, to check this stuff for themselves, to go apply the filter, check the issues. We're just making sure that they have this on their uh, mailbox because maybe that's their preferred uh, form of receiving this kind of information. So we've seen in this video how to create filters that will be dynamic and adapting to situation, to the person who is displaying, uh, to the time in which the filter is applied, and we've also seen option how to make sure that everyone, even people who are not entering Jira, will be uh, updated with information that is needed for, for them to work. So I think that these two elements of Jira are really cru crucial. And I believe that uh, in this area, uh, Jira and Atlassian in general, uh, thought about this, I think, pretty, pretty strongly and they came up with nice solutions. And yeah, other than that, uh, that will be it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. Remember that if you have any questions, problems, uh, if you would like to understand if you can do something or, or maybe if you would like to know 
what other apps or tools you need on top of your Jira to address your needs, you can always reach out to us. I'm sure we'll be able to help.